हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ द केमिस्ट्री पार्ट ऑफ जेई मेंस पेपर 2019 व्हिच वाज हेल्ड ऑन इवनिंग सेशन ऑफ 8th ऑफ अप्रैल 2019 लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सो इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 ही इज आस्किंग 0.27 ग्राम ऑफ अ लॉन्ग चेन फैटी एसिड वाज डिसॉल्वड इन 100 सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ऑफ हेक्सेन 10 ml of this solution was added drop wise to a surface of water in the round watch glass now the main important thing here is this round watch glass right why i will tell you hexane evaporates and the mono layer is formed the distance from the edge to the center means the distance from the edge to the center is the radius of that watch glass right so that 10 cm is given the radius of that watch glass so what is the height of the mono layer he is asking let's start the solution so now first what we have to do we have to find out the volume of that particular layer and we know that the density is mass upon volume or you can say that it is the weight upon volume right so from here we can say that the volume is equal to the mass upon density now what's the value of the mass the value of the mass is 0.27 grams so we will write here it is equal to 0.27 grams and the density is given to us density is 0.9 gram per centimeter cube right so it will be divided by 0.9 gram per centimeter cube and that is equal to 0.03 centimeter cube now we all know that the shape of the layer will be cylindrical and what's the volume of the cylinder the volume of the cylinder is volume is pi r square h and that pi r square h will be equal to 0.03 cm cube now pi it's given to us the value of pi is 3 so we'll put here the value of the pi so it is equal to 3 multiplied by the value of r is also given to us so value of r is here it is 10 cm right so we'll write here 10 whole square multiply by h and that will be equal to 0.03 now we have to find out the value of h that will be the thickness of that particular layer so if you calculate h from here the value of h from here will be equal to 
टेन टू दावर माइनस फोर सेंटीमीटर नाउ बिकॉज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री दैट वॉज इन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब द वैल्यू ऑफ द रेडियस टेन सेंटीमीटर वी आर पुटिंग दैट्स वाई वी विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द थिकनेस इन सेंटीमीटर एंड वेन वी विल चेंज इट इन टू द मीटर्स देन इट विल बी इक्वल टू टेन टू दावर माइनस सिक्स मीटर्स राइट लेट्स चेक विच इज आवर करेक्ट आंसर सो आर करेक्ट आंसर इज द फोर्थ वन सो आंसर इज फोर्थ राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेल इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग द मॉन प्रोसेस इज यूज फॉर द ऑप्शन आर प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ जिरकोनियम एंड टेटेनियम सेकेंड ऑप्शन एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ मॉलिबिडनम थर्ड ऑप्शन इज प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ निकिल एंड द फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ जिंक नाउ फर्स्ट यू हैव टू नो दैट वॉट इज मॉन्ट प्रोसेस सो द सोल्यूशन now in mont's process we take impure nickel this is impure and we pass carbon monoxide on the nickel right and this process takes place at something about this much kelvin right and a complex is formed which is tetra carbonyl nickel so this tetra carbonyl nickel is volatile and this is volatile and when we heat it it decomposes easily and we get pure form of nickel right so tetracarbonyl nickel if we heat it at about 550 570 kelvin we will get nickel which is pure plus carbon monoxide right so it means that this is the method of purification of nickel so if we see the options then third option will be our correct answer so our answer is option number 3 right let's move on to the next question now in this question he is asking that the correct statement about icl5 and icl4 minus is icl5 is square pyramidal and icl4 minus is tetrahedral this is the first statement both are isostructural third is icl5 is square pyramidal and icl4 minus is square planar fourth is icl5 is trigonal bipyramidal and icl4 minus is tetrahedral so what we have to do we can do one thing we can find the hybridization and by the hybridization we can find the geometry and the shape of these species let's solve this question so the solution now first we talk about icl5 now iodine is halogen there will be seven valence electrons in the valence shell right so this is iodine and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seven electrons are there but it is making five bonds so 1 2 3 4 5 this is chlorine 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 
and chlorine and these two electrons will act as a lone pair right so if we find out the hybridization there are five sigma bonds and one lone pair so it will be sp 3 d 2 now we have to arrange these bond pairs and the lone pair in such a way that it appears as octahedral geometry so we can make it like this i cl one more chlorine another chlorine another chlorine and one chlorine here right now what about the lone lone pair lone pair will come here so if we join it like this we are getting a square and if we join this chlorine with the other atoms it is square pyramid so this is square pyramid right so let's talk about icl4 minus so again we have to do the same thing in the case of icl4 minus the central atom is iodine but there is a negative charge negative charge means there is an extra electron extra electron means now i minus will have eight electrons in the valence shell so it will be i 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and a negative charge right how many bonds it is forming it is forming four bonds so 1 2 3 4 and this is the lone pair and this is the lone pair so how many lone pairs there are two lone pairs and four sigma bonds so there are total six pairs again the hybridization is sp3d2 so hybridization is sp3d2 geometry will be octahedral and now we have to find out the shape so if we draw the geometry then it will be i and cl 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 and the negative charge and two lone pairs one lone pair will be here and another lone pair we can draw here so when we join these atoms it will be square planar so let's see which is the correct option the correct option is icl5 is square pyramidal and icl4 minus is square planar so the answer is option number three let's move on to the next question 